All right, let's get this fucking show on the road. I am the big stress. I am the big stress. What's going on, everybody? This is the inaugural Overwatch Silver Elite stream as everything is fucking up the walls. We still need one more. All right, I'm going to jump into the, the, the voice channel. Hang on, hang on. Bronze, Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. What is the crowd? Better. Hello. I'm very sorry about the delay, but you know, the classic case of uh, people saying that they're going to be here and then not being here, but we're going to get Fair there enough. eventually. I need one more, I think, unless someone hasn't added me on. I can... Wait, let me see. I could get someone to play. If, if anybody knows anybody at all that has two functioning arms and an Overwatch account. I'll ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll be on par with my skill then. These teams aren't balanced. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, it's not like we picked them yet, have we? Yeah, no, you haven't really picked them yet, but uh... Just put me on the blue team and start. Uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. Just, just put Ronnie, Joshua and Anna on the same team. It'll be <laughs> very balanced. Yeah, that'll be a balanced <laughs> game, yeah, absolutely. Like, 3v9. <laughs> But um, I don't know what SR all of you are at. I know there's a pretty big difference between most people. So probably maybe um, if the high ranking lads want to sort that out while I'm trying to get a last person in. I wonder, could we like set a certain profile picture that's like <laughs> I'm GM? Maybe, like one of the Overwatch League ones. Probably, probably. Um, I know Square Turtle is a shitter. So it's roads. I, oh. Oh. I'm not a shooter, dude. I, I think I'm playing Squirt Turtle. Wow, well, toxic. I thought this was PMA Pogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is fucking family friendly Pogs, lads. Come on. Right, lads. If your GM put on the Chengdu, if your GM <laughs> put on the top 500 icon. Like, I don't have that on oh, this account. I, oh, I got my hundred. Look at me. <laughs> I've got I, don't, I don't know what GM is, so I just assume I won't. Yeah, okay, we'll do we'll do the giga chat. We'll do the giga chat. I can't. We're getting there. What's that? The Chengdu hunters. We're all aiming. <laughs> <laughs> and what what should masters be? Dude, <laughs> dude. <laughs> fucking aiming is fucking right, man. He just leveled up instantly. Did you see that game against uh, Vancouver Titans? Went through an evolution, dude. Yeah. You, did you see uh, the, the sideshow clip, uh, Josh? Okay, we yeah, have a, we big. have a twelve. Yeah, Confirmed. He engaged his <laughs> no bumper. Engaged his feed jar towards. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> that um, last so hard. How many yeah, do we have? Shane, Ronnie, Josh, uh, and Scribsy. All GM. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, okay. Will we make it so that your mayhem M for masters? If you masters. I have a request. So long as I get E4 on my team, <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. 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 Let me see. Let me. See. I just want Joshua or. Built-in synergy from our e-boy Anna days. Oh, I could swap to uh, e-boy. <laughs> Budget to Fran. That's one of uh, that's one of the Irish Overwatch lads, right? It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's e that's e Okay. Okay. Um. Right. So then we're just waiting on our last to get in. How do I find the uh the Discord server link? Uh, I'll PM it to you. Okay. Cool. Oh, this guy's career profile is private. How am I supposed to know? Who? Budget to Fran? Yeah. He's GM. I assume if your profile is private, you're a hands on main. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, hands on main. So bad. Wait, I'm gonna swap accounts actually so we can get full moon. Wait, do I go e boy or blank? E boy, e boy. E boy. Okay. Sorry, one second, I need to remember. <laughs> I have a Torbo team. I, I laugh every time I see the email because the email is fucking deformed individual at gmail.com. Oh, this is fucking stressful. How does Andy do this every week? <laughs> God knows. Right, uh, okay, I think we are just about to go. Okay. Um, Shane, you need to invite me, by the way, if you can. Oh, do I have oh, you? Yeah. We're sorting all the teams out in the VC. I do. Oh, I'm not online mode way once I Let's have Irish pugs versus the rest. Oh, imagine. <laughs> I'm uh, what off we can mode. do, what, what we can do while I'm waiting is, uh, well, we haven't picked teams yet, so that's gonna we're gonna have to sack that off. So, all right. Okay, I'm gonna leave that up to the GM lads. If you just want to split yourself up, and then we'll distribute out the rest. I just want Joshua on my team. Smile. <laughs> 
Who, which, who's Joshua and Anna? E-boy. E e E-boy e and Anna need to be in the same team. I need budget to Fran. Budget to Fran and Sir Ronnie. It's the fucking Lucio Zarya OT. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, let hang me turn on. off the spectators. There we go. Also, Epo's trapped in team two. He can't join. Feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky. Right, swap the spec. Who's Brado? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, Brado's in Discord. What the fuck? Uh, spec, spec, and Anna and E boy, Ronnie, it's going off to red. Rodzo is there. Touched Fran. Give me that. Give me that shit. Right, I'm doing this really quickly. Give me budget to Fran. I need him. <laughs> Swap to red, swap to red, it's back, red, and, oh what the fuck, where did they go? <laughs> Just there! <laughs> Fucking hell, okay, Oshin is finally on, perfect. It's okay, they're a man down, we're a man down, because I'm here. Oof. Oof. I don't know, though. I wouldn't speak too quick, I'm also here. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Rosie, your profile is private. What are you, a Bastion man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a flex player. He's flex, he plays Bastion and Bastion. Man, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I am going to nominate... Uh... Joshua, you're on the blue team, right? Yeah. Okay, right, you are blue team captain, right? Oh, baby. Team number one. Hang on. Who's Joshua? Hashtag E-boy. E -boy. And, uh... What do people play? Ronnie, over on the red team, you're gonna be captain for the red team, right? Anything. Let's go, dude! Right, Let's uh, go, dude! Right, Joshua, team name. I need a team name. Um... We need to all change our icons for the same thing. One tricks, okay. Ronnie? In inverted commas now. Goats is dead. Is Ronnie Crab? No, we're lacking the crab. Can I get the crab emoji and fucking overwatch? Actually, wait, wait, wait. Can we change ours to Giga Chads? <laughs> like that. Giga Chads, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, wait, okay. We need the same. We need the same. LFG 18 plus Eagles only. <laughs> right, is everybody on? I think everybody's on. Is Boop. That's, uh, yeah. Boop is. Oh, Sheen, I'm presuming. Wait, I don't want to play against three GMs. Give me one of them. You give me, got give to. me the budget to Fred. Lads, lads, I can't fucking deal lads, with just, you. For, just go, oh, wait, just wait, go. Sorry, oh, wait, sorry, oh, wait, sorry. No, don't, we're gonna get five. Stopped. We've got five GMs. This, I'm asleep. I'm I'm bronze right now. And he's terrible anyways, it's fine. This the, yeah, this is the problem. We've got five GMs, so... <laughs> we have five GMs? Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to hope that okay, okay. Ronnie and Scrivzy can fucking sort you out on the red team. Man, I'm like extremely borderline GM because I'm trash, it's fine. I'm about to be plot. Man, I'm about to get plot. <laughs> the nerfs for too much. Man, I'm gonna say my 30% Lucio win rate on my main is because of the Lucio nerfs. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not played it. I definitely didn't have that before the nerfs. No. Oh, I'm gonna set it the next 5 days of decay, because if FD got dropped, I'm the number one Lucio in EU. Really? <laughs> right. Oh. Stacking at the moment. <laughs> if F2 drops, though. Okay, let me update these. I'd say he might camp rank, to be honest. I mean, he climbed. He was like two spots above, and now he's oh, like fuck. top 10 already. Yeah. So I'm a bit worried. And then, what was the red team name we said? Goats is dead. Goats in, is dead. In inverted commas. Very important. <laughs> okay, I can't put the inverted commas in, in game, but I can do it on stream. Do it on stream. That's very important. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me swap over. Uh, so I think we're good to go, lads. You can hop into Team One and Team Two Voice. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Uh, actually, before we do, um, Blue is a defense, right? Blue team is defense. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. So, Ronnie, what map yeah. do you want? Uh, fucking King's Row. King's Row. Gotcha. What is this, Irish Pugs? <laughs> it is! What is this, Irish Pugs? Scrims? Oh, I wish King's Row was just like... They need a map veto system, that's what I want. They do, yeah, that would be really nice. 
Alright. No more horizon. King's rope. Alright, lads. Good luck. Okay. Uh, I'll oh, yeah. pop back into you in a little while once we get this out of the way. I apologize about the delay, but have fun. Uh, don't flame right. each other too much. And uh, look after all the, the silver scrubs. Let's go. Grand. All right, boy. And um, um, me, who is. Okay, right. So we're going to be getting it underway. Let's see how this goes. Right, let's start. Let's pause Spotify. Uh, let me get. Sound. Up. And we should be underway. You managed to weasel your way out of that one. You did. You you really did. Good man, Crease, for sorting this out. All right, lads. This is the inaugural. The inaugural uh, Overwatch Silver Elite stream. I'm very excited. Uh, it took us a while. Uh... Right, should be good. We are going to be on King's Row for this first map. Anna, Crease, Brado, Boop, E-Boy, Budget, Fran, taking on Rozo, Rabbit Hamster, Sir, Ronnie, Kinky Fox, Foxy, and Skill Decay over on the red team. So let's see what they decide to take for this one. Oh, looks like coming in, we're going to have Zenyatta Junkrat with Arisa... Baptiste, the new hero. Haven't seen him yet. Diva Torbjorn over for the blue team. Okay, interesting. Grandmaster players, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the attacking side, going for the Anna Zen. Zaria, Baptiste and Ryan combo, depending on what Foxy wants to take. Looks like they are going to lock in the Ash just at the last moment. Team Goats is dead versus Team Giga Chads as the rollout comes in. This is going to be very interesting for me because I am not used to casting Overwatch. But already we see Reinhardt sorted on the choke as they start to slowly push forward. But Blue Team has the high ground now as they start to weasel their way towards the first point and the Reinhardt shield is going to go down. But oh, Sir Ronnie on the flank, he's managed to come all the way around and now Skill Decay is pushing back onto the site. As, oh, here comes the Baptiste deployment there. Not quite sure what the name of that ability is, but I'm sure we'll get used to it over time now as, oh, huge amount of kills going the way of Goats is dead so far already now. That's going to be the first. That's going to be the first point, I think. Oh no, the Contest does come in from the Tracer. No, Budget Frank gets knocked out. Foxy's going to find that frag now. Halo is going to come into play. As Diva is going to get found out. But very quick point number one take. Now as the payload starts to move up. We see actually Zen and Diva still pushed up quite far. And they're just kind of harassing from the backside. As the payload slowly moves its way forward. And... That is going to be E-Boy and Anna all the way in the back. The, the combo, we saw them showing off that they wanted to play together in the pregame, but see if they can get anything done here. Chris is going to die to his own damage, I believe, but not ideal. As the payload still moving forward, it is contested for the time being, but E-Boy and Anna causing a huge amount of disruption in the back line as Arisa... Trying to get them together so they can hang on, but Baptiste ultimate. Does come out and there's the grab from Ronnie as nobody's going to get caught in it actually. And Oop is going to go down as the defenders are pushed back. Gigachad's on the retreat now as Eboy tries to get away with the mech. He does manage to get away with it, but Reese is not going to be as lucky now. Budget of Fran left all on his own as Torbjorn trying to run back. Gets discorded and now he's out of the picture. As we see, Goats is dead. Goats, Goats might be dead, but these players are definitely after coming alive so far as they push the payload all the way down past the second point now. And 
moving towards the end of this journey here oh but there's the ultimate out from foxy is tries to pick up a couple of frags headshots coming in left and right as eboy's gonna get dmx now moving in it does get knocked into the trap but not gonna be too much of an issue here as all the frags are going the way of goats is dead complete domination from them just the torb turret left steal a little bit of damage as they move in now boop Gets knocked out of the invulnerability field. That could be huge here. And the ultimate comes out from Baptiste. Is it enough though? Oh, the contest comes in from D.Va just at the last second. E-Boy is there. Gonna get slipped. Great sleep there though. Rhodes was gonna get taken out. And now, for the first time in this game, we actually see... The red team on the retreat is Reinhardt. He's gonna take a little bit too big of a fight there. And E-Boy... Really well to stay alive, but with only 1.04 meters left on this payload as it slowly starts to move back, you've got to fancy the chances of a Goats is dead to put, pull this one out of the bag. Skill Decay is going to move up now. The Orisa Shield, the only thing left to keep them back. And there's the Shatter comes out, but it's not going to catch anyone. The Orisa Shield, I think, actually managing to hold that one up. What a huge Diva Bomb. This could be it. No, not going to find any kills. Kreese picks up the kill onto Kinky Fox. Two men down now on the red side as the Torb turret ticking away onto Rhodes. Oh, he's going to get caught out on the flank. Great position in there from Budget to Fran. And this is the first time we've seen uh, Giga Chads actually manage to hold on even just a little bit. They've stalled up. Oates is dead as Baptiste on both sides been used quite effectively here, but... Kills not going either way now. Damage being traded back and forth a little bit here as Oxy's quite low. Zen is going to help him out here as he tries to deal as much as he can. There's the ultimate and the grab comes out as well. Is that going to be enough though? Plenty of players locked up in that but do manage to get away pretty much unscathed. Budget the friend. The only one going down is the turret still left alive. He's going to pick up Rhodes up for a second time with the turret. Not what you want to see happening but is going to go his way ultimately now as they move back. Spectating in this game is quite considerably more difficult than I was initially expecting, but we're getting there, everybody. We are getting there. As the Zarya Reinhardt combo from both sides. Actually, just on Boats is dead as Scrivzy pulling out the trance now. As oh, the payload is slowly starting to tick towards the crease with a huge, a very bold uh, jump rat out there and. E-Boy's gonna launch the Diva Bomb yet again. Picks up two. Kinky Fox and Sir Ronnie get caught out by that one. Rhodes finally manages to take down the Torb turret. It's been plaguing him all game long. Seems like you'd need a dedicated director. You would. You would. That would be really nice. But unfortunately, not possible in current Overwatch state. Unless, Score Turtle, you want to uh, drive out to my house and uh, control the observing from, uh, from my PC. You can do that if you want. Absolutely. But... Meanwhile, Ronnie's gonna try, or Anna, I should say, is gonna try and keep Priest alive. Pumping out as much healing per second as he can. Skill Decay's getting very aggressive. It looks like he has the grab. Does Is he gonna boom for it? Yes, he is. No, Skill Decay actually doesn't have the grab. I realize I can check. No need to speculate, but E-Boy dealing a huge amount of damage from the high ground as Skill Decay maybe gets a little bit over aggressive. Rozo's gonna push in now and get aggressive himself as we see Scrivzy switch off. On to the Lucio. He's gonna pick up a kill with the boop already. That's what we what we know him for, but kill's been traded back and forward here now as we've got five ults across the board for Giga Chads. They need to utilize these correctly if they want to make something happen here. E-boy standing in the Torb ultimate. Actually, no, it's budget friends ultimate. He doesn't need to worry. And the ult economy. Is definitely in favor of the Giga Chads here. Three still, ult three ultimates left still. Two support ults there. The supercharger coming out now as they try to hold them back for the last 48 seconds on the clock. The Baptiste and vulnerability comes out, but Skill Decay is going to get slept, and that's him deleted as Moira tries to push forward, but Budget to Fran is there to hold him back now. And this is not looking good for Goats is dead as they started off so well on this map. But maybe it was the comp change that came in from Giga Chads just enough to hold him back now. Oh, there's the grab though. Absolutely huge as the ults start to rain in. The 
Ooh, Sound Barrier comes down, but Skill Decay is going to get slept. The Diva Bomb, is it going to find anyone? Yes, it does. Find Skill Decay and Kinky Fox. They're both gone down now. Foxy all the way in the back line on Meyer, trying to stay alive, trying to make something happen, but will manage to get out just about Sir Ronnie. He's going to get dropped, and now it's looking very grim for the side of Goats is dead. They're not able to get that next push in. Three members still alive, and Skill Decay's got a push, but he can't. And that is going to be round one, ladies and gentlemen. Going in favor of Giga Chads as they manage to pull it back from a one meter deficit on the payload. They make something happen. And now... Swapping sides. Only two ticks for the other team, but... Now, we're going to see Giga Chads make their attempt at the attack as they push on through. Really impressive hold, actually, from Goats is Dead as 1.04 meters we saw was so close to going all the way, but E-Boy on that D.Va, monumental push, getting back out onto the payload just to contest it for long enough for his teammates to come in and mop up the kills. And to hold them off for multiple minutes is always impressive to see. So far the comp's looking at Baptiste going to be picked up by Anna as Kreese is on the Reaper. Brado on the Reinhardt and Boop playing Moira. Eboy switching over from Diva now onto Zarya for this attack. Yet to see what Budget Fran is going to opt into but Rodzo is on the Bastion ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. This could be huge. The Bastion one trick is out now. Rabbit Hamster fancying his chances on DPS this time around as Sir Ronnie's on. Roadhog. Kinky Fox picking up the Baptiste. Moira combo coming in with Foxy and Skill Decay is going to be on Orisa as the shield tank. Now, can they hold on? First point was taken very, very quickly earlier, but Budget Fran, he's on the rollout and he's going to go straight in as he takes the fight all the way to Scribzy. Oh, this could be huge. He's going to take him out. That's the DPS dropped off now. As Bastion all alone, no Orisa shield there. It's been deleted, but... Oh no, the Orisa shield is not in front of the Bastion, but the charge coming in from Reinhardt's not going to actually tag Rodzo. And he's going to rain down the damage as Baptiste is caught out now into the left side all on his own. Is he going to be able to get away? I don't think so, but... Taking the fight with this Roadhog anyway, what's going to happen here now? It's an uh, interesting fight here as Ronnie's having a little bit of trouble with the hook. That's going to seal the deal. This crease comes all the way back around though and bit of an interesting question here in the chat but I think that is gonna be the first point and a little bit closer than last time now but ultimately will go the way of Giga Chads as they manage to pick it up that's gonna unlock the payload see Reinhardt and Moira all the way back waiting for that payload to pop out now what budget to Franny he's causing a huge amount of trouble on the wrecking ball just such a hard hero to deal with especially for an uncoordinated team Rodzo is getting very aggressive though I'm not sure where that ultimate came from but he's gonna try and make it work the area gets denied from wrecking ball budget to Franny's gonna get hacked and dropped very low is he gonna get away no he's not eventually silenced as Brado charges in with the Zarya bubble. Complete confidence there. Ronnie eventually gets dropped as he's on the retreat. And now Orisa is going to be on the receiving end of E-Boy's Zarya. So really nice fight there. I think Rodzo maybe got a little bit overzealous with the... He uh, escapes my name now. The, the Bastion ult coming out very soon there. But not going to be able to go his way as things start to quieten down now a little bit. E-Boy trading back and forth a little bit of damage each way, but not going to worry too much. The Baptiste ultimate seems to be really, really interesting here now. And with Bastion on the receiving end of that Baptiste ultimate, he could be dealing out a huge amount of damage. Brad is going to get bubbled, though. The hook coming in from Ronnie's not going to catch him out. Baptiste ultimate actually gets hacked. That's really interesting. I didn't quite know that could be hacked, but Okay, 
Uh, we're back. We're back. Can everybody hear the game sound on stream? Uh, this has happened before. I just want to make sure everybody can still hear the game. But this is a huge fight coming in. Oh, the shatter from Reinhardt, though. He just pushes through the shield, but gets dropped by skill decay just before the shatter comes out. And now that's going to be on cooldown. That could be huge here. Rodzo has got his ultimate back as well. Kinky Fox just a little bit off. As the Baptiste all comes out yet again. And Crease coming in with a huge Reaper ult. But it's not going to catch anybody. It forces the retreat. Budget to Fran. Drops the minefield in a huge choke point. As the payload motors on as always. Okay, you can hear the in-game sound very good. I like that now. The Baptiste ultimate is a wall, a transparent wall that he deploys. And all his teammates as they shoot through it have their damage amplified quite considerably. He can damage amplified Zarya. Huge amount of energy across the board. Always has been so far in this game, but... He's going to be dealing huge damage to this stationary Bastion. If he's not careful, he might go down here. No, that's exactly what's going to happen. The flame strike catches him out and Rodzo's out of the picture for this one as... Moira ult on the corner just to hold them back as much as they can on the payload. Still ticking ever closer. Oh, huge hack from Scrivzy as he tries to make something work here. His teammates, there's the Baptiste ult as... But Jatafran picks up a kill in return, but Kinky Fox is a Ronnie. Doing all they can to hold this one back, and it looks like it's going to happen. And that Zarya kill could get delayed, but the Bubble and plenty of health there. We're going to allow them to get all the way back. Rodzo pumping out huge DPS on Bastion as Skill Decay combos with him, trying to keep him alive. There's the grab, though, and oh no, it catches out six members, but the May wall just in time. Completely shuts down that push, and here's Rodzo now on board with the Bastion. He's gonna try to deal as much as he can here. Takes down Budget to Fran as he gets a little bit aggressive, and Brado's dropped very low. Rabbit Hans was gonna find that. Two kills now going the way of Goats is dead on this defense. We saw the hole coming in from Giga Chads earlier. It's gonna manage to hold him up for a little while longer as E-Boy gets dragged back. Well, you're not going anywhere with this Orisa around. As now, utilizing the May wall to get very aggressive here as they're pushing up budget to Fran is gonna get hooked out of that high noon. And now we see interesting ultimate usage actually from the Giga Chads as they don't seem to be really complementing each other's ults and now Moira's without hers. For a considerable amount of time, but Let's see if they can make something happen. Crease has still got the Death Blossom available, so that could be crucial here if they want to convert this team fight to go in their favor now. As we see both teams just trying to feel each other out a little bit here. Rozo on top of the payload is going to be dealing huge amounts of damage uncontested here. Crease goes in all alone and picks up Foxy, but. Gonna pay for it with his life as the mail gets dropped on the point. That's gonna slow down the the push from Giga Chads altogether. As Rozo is gonna eventually get dropped. And now some kills start to swing back in favor of the blue side here. Kinky Fox dropped very low. He's gonna go down as well. And now it's all on Zerani. Pushed all the way back here. And against this Zarya with a huge amount of energy. This could go very poorly. If Zarya manages to get away uncontested, the hook coming out is not going to pick anyone up. Here comes the ult from Moira now. Boop is going to try and hold on. Oh, but the grab catches a couple. The Maywall is just enough to hold them back, but they need to contest here. This could be huge as the hammer comes in, but it's going to get blocked by the Orisa wall just in time. Rhodes is going to deploy on the point. That's going to stop the push, but they need to start finding some frags. Zorani picks up the kill onto Reinhardt. As he is now taken out of the picture, the shatter has been used up. Budget to Fran gets d mech and slowed down now. Oh, Rabbit Hamster picking up the frag as well on May. Kill starting to swing back in favor. Off Goats is dead. Now Crease trying to flank around. Oh, actually, no! I don't believe it! Has Anna done it on Lucio? Just about. Foxy manages to hold on. Got back just in time as Rozo went down on the point to the Lucio and then the boop came in. Rabbit Hamster there to pick up the kill. That could have been absolutely devastating, but really clever there from Anna on Lucio. Just to try and 
make something happen when it didn't seem viable but Budget to Fran now up on the high ground this is going to be their last push with only two seconds left there comes the ult from May but Budget to Fran manages to get the contest in E-Boy is there as well huge amount of energy now the tanks have it all to do the diva bomb coming in but E-Boy needs to stay on the point Budget to Fran is going to try to get back in the mech and he manages it and is on the point as well with Lucio as Goats is dead, try to hang on. The Maywall coming up, causing a huge amount of disruption, but it's not going to catch anyone out. And it's still on the point, however, causing a huge amount of chaos and confusion. The, the boot comes in, Crease is going to knock him off, and that's going to be it. The contest doesn't come in. Goats is dead are going to take the first map, I believe. We see the diva bomb play of the game. Oh, you hate to see it, Rozo.